Hey everyone, what is up? It's David again from Smart Income Today. So in this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about what exactly a marketing funnel is. Uh, I'm sure by now you've seen or heard about a funnel in some way, shape or form online, uh, but I'm gonna really get down to it and um, hopefully by the end of this video, you'll, you'll actually understand what it is. Um, and then I'm also gonna go through some examples of it, um, show you how it actually plays a bigger part in your life than you may know. Um, I'm gonna talk about why it's so important to know, um, especially if you're an online marketer or an entre entrepreneur. Um, and finally, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the tool that I use to create the funnels that I'm actually using for my own online lead generation business. Uh, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing that you need to know is what is a conversion? A conversion is an action that you want your customers to take. So if you're selling a product, then your conversion is when someone actually purchases your product. Right? If your business is a service, say you're a dentist, then your conversion is when someone schedules an appointment, comes in, and then um, gets their teeth cleaned or whatnot, and then pays you. Right? That's their ultimate conversion. Um, so as you can imagine, uh, many different types of businesses have different types of conversions. Um, so now that we've talked a little bit about that, a funnel is a series of steps that are required of a customer to reach a conversion. Right. So let me say that again. A funnel is a series of steps that are required of a customer to reach a conversion. So to help you visualize, th visualize things, a funnel is essentially an inverted triangle, right? It's wide at the top and it gets narrow and narrower as you go down. And the reason for that is because everyone starts at the top of, of the inverted triangle, right? They start at the top, but then as they move down, there are less and less people because not everyone who, for example, started, on your, started out on your website actually want to purchase your product. And you end up with only a subset of people who purchase and reach your conversion step. Right? So if that, was, if that was confusing, don't worry about it. I'm going to go over several examples to show you what exactly I mean and how funnels are actually playing uh, a more important part in your life than you may imagine. So to go over an example of a funnel, we're going to use Hotels.com today. So we're going to pretend as if we're actually looking to book a hotel and I'm going to break it down from the perspective of a marketing funnel. So as I mentioned, a marketing funnel is an upside down triangle, right? Where a lot of people are entering the first step, but only a subset of those people then enter the second step and then so on. So the first step here is we have to find a place to stay, we have to tell them where we want to go, our check-in, check-out dates, rooms, but obviously us, uh, there are people who reach this page who just you know bounce, right? They, they decide that, oh, you know what, I don't want to go to hotels.com or I want to go to Expedia instead, or they're just not looking to book a hotel in that moment. So for us, we're just going to put Las Vegas. seven eight people search so this is step two right step two of the funnel is choosing your actual hotel right they give you all this this, this list and we have to choose the one that we want to go to and let's just say we want to go to the Excalibur right so the third step of the funnel is now that we have to choose a room right they're giving us all these room options and then we have to choose the one that's right for us. So let's just say the cheapest one, right? So the fourth step is the payment page, right? So they're asking us to put all this information in so that we can secure the room. They're giving us all this information so that you know that we can know that this is legit and that uh, we understand exactly what we're paying for. And then after after this, when we book it, then um, I imagine we'd be getting, we'd be taken to a fifth page, which is a confirmation page that you know you've successfully booked this. You know th these are your stay dates. Uh, we've also sent you an email. Um, you know, feel free to call this number if you have any questions, right? So that that was the funnel that Hotels.com takes you through. Um, Hotels.com is a very standard kind of e-commerce flow. Um, where it's very similar to as if you were buying a product online, um, right? So that hopefully this is um, this was helpful. Um, but to really show you visually um, what this process was like from a marketing funnel perspective, right? Then you can look at this uh, this funnel that I created. So in the very top, you have someone who enters the Hotels.com page, and that's the search page, right? Only a percentage of those people will then actually run a search and then they get to the page where they choose a hotel, right? And then only a subset of those people will then choose 
um, go to the next section where they have to choose a room and then a subsection of those people then go to the payment page and then only a percentage of those people then actually book and then reach the confirmation page right so the idea is that every time you have a funnel you have to be aware of what all the percentages are right what percent of people are at the search page and then go to choose a hotel page what percentage of people choose a hotel and then choose their room what percentage of people go to payment what percentage of people go to confirmation page and so on right the idea is that once you understand this then you know which area of the funnel that you want to be focusing on um, and how to best affect and improve your conversion rate so that as much people go to the final step as possible. So hopefully by now you have a better understanding of what a conversion is and also what a marketing funnel is. Now the reason that understanding these concepts is so important is because at the end of the day, you want as many people to reach your conversion action, action as possible, right? If you have a thousand people on your website, then you don't want just five people, you want 10 or 100 people to actually be purchasing your product. And to do that, you have to understand the experience uh, or funnel uh, that you have, right? So for example, maybe you're getting people to go jump through too many hoops to just get to that final action. It should not be so easy, it should not be so hard for someone to purchase something from you, right? Maybe you, uh, it just helps put things into perspective. For example, you don't need someone to put Mr. or Mrs. in the billing section. Uh, you just need them to put their credit card information and that's it. All right, so these small things that end up um, having a very big impact on your overall website experience or funnel experience um, and getting as many people to uh, purchase your product or become clients um, and hopefully growing your business as well. So the tool that I would recommend and that I actually use for my lead generation business is ClickFunnels. Um, so ClickFunnels is a drag and drop tool that lets you build your funnel or your website. Uh, the two are synonymous um, and there's actually no coding experience required, which is really great because um, really anyone can hop in and start building a website themselves. Um, I, I've gotten to a point where I can build an entire funnel and tracking and run an ad uh, within an hour, within a few hours. Um, so that's really the power of the tool itself. Uh, what's also great is that they have amazing customer service and a lot of training videos. Um, so if you have any questions, it's probably going to be somewhere on the forums or uh, they've already created a video teaching you how to do it. Um, for the most part, ClickFunnels has really served all of my purposes as someone who, who does lead generation for businesses. Um, but you know, with that being said, if you do want to try it, they do have a 14 day free trial. I'll include the link down below for you to test them out, see if you like them or not. Um, and if you don't, I know there's a lot of other options out there. There's Instapage, um, there's Unbounce, there's lead pages. Um, so th you, you do have a lot of options if ClickFunnels is not something that uh, you, you think is a good fit for you. Uh, one of the things that I particularly like about uh, ClickFunnels is that ClickFunnels allows you to share a funnel, right? So that means that I can create an entire funnel, um, you know, a start page, a thank you page, um, have everything built out for you, have, have, already, have, have everything already built, and then I just need to send you a URL, and then you can take exactly what I've already built and use it for yourself, right? So I've actually included a link down below um, of one of the towing funnels that has worked, has worked really well and um, is able to get towing clients a lot of people who need tows. Um, so that's just an example of the power of behind ClickFunnels and why so many people use it. Um, but again, uh, there's a lot of options out there, so you don't have to uh, constrain yourself to just ClickFunnels. All right, so that was the, that's the end of my video. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw today, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Um, and also leave a comment down below if you have any questions. But also if you wanna learn, if you have any um, specific things related to ClickFunnels or lead generation, I'd be happy to answer. Thanks.